Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. Here we're going to learn how to define functions in MATLAB. And when I mean functions, when I say functions, I mean mathematical functions, f of x or f of y. And as you might imagine, this has lots of applications. I mean, obviously, later on we'll, we're going to plot functions. And uh, later on we'll be taking derivatives and integrals of functions in calculus. So it's really important to know how to define a mathematical function in MATLAB. So basically what you need to do is uh, you need to get comfortable with this uh, command called inline. And the way you would do it is if you're calling your function f, you would set f equal to, and what you need to do is type the word inline, that, that makes like an inline expression here. And you open up a parentheses and you put in quotation, single quotes, exactly what you want your function to be defined. So let's choose something simple. Let's do, do x squared. Uh, so we're saying f of x is equal to x squared, and we also have to tell it uh, what variable is the independent variable. In other words, you know, we know when we talk about functions that x is the independent variable because x squared is what the function is equal to. We know that x is what we plug in, and f of x is what we get out. But in MATLAB, you have to be very explicit. You have to tell it, here's what the function is, here's what the independent variable is. So in this case, it's f of x. So that's why we have this here. We enclose it in single quotes. And then over here is what the function is actually, actually equal to. And we're setting this whole thing equal to some other letter. This can be anything we want. Right now, we're calling it f. Uh, for f of x. So it says, okay, we've done that. The inline function is defined to be f of x is equal to x squared. And it tells you over here in the workspace that f is a special kind of variable that's equal to an inline expression, which is kind of like Mat MATLAB uh, language for it's a function. So this is now a mathematical function. If you just type f on the command line and hit enter, it's going to tell you that f is equal to this inline function, which is a mathematical function. So the reason we do this kind of thing is so that we can pass arguments to these functions. This is just like algebra. So you would say f of 2, for instance. This is going to evaluate the function we've defined at the value x is equal to 2, and it's going to return a value of 4. Or f of uh, you know 10. So 10 squared is 100, and so on. And if you put negative numbers in here, it honors it uh, the same way it does algebraically. So negative 10 squared is negative 10 times negative 10. You're going to get a positive answer. So that is sort of a, a quick lesson on how to create these functions. Let's practice a little bit more. Let's say I want to, to create a function. I'm going to call it, uh, you know, chestnut. I mean, what I'm, what I'm trying to, uh, to kind of... Uh, uh, make sure you understand is the functions can be anything you want. I mean, you can name it anything descriptive. So if you're doing calculations with chestnuts, you can name it that. If you're doing calculations with computers or if you're doing calculations with profit, you know, maybe your profit is equal to some function. So you could set it equal uh, like this. So I would say inline, let's say my profit is equal to, you know, uh, two times X plus X raised to the third power, um, you know, minus, 45 or 43 or something like this. So that's my actual uh, expression that I'm setting this function equal to and I have to tell it, okay, the independent variable that I'm allowed to plug into this guy is in fact x. So then it's going to tell me, okay, profit as a function of x is equal to this guy here. And of course, I can put anything I want in, in here to define my function. I can put sines and cosines and and logarithms and exponential functions. Anything MATLAB is comfortable with, you can define your function in terms of that. Okay, so now if I if I want to calculate the profit when x is equal to you know two or x is equal to three, it'll calculate an answer. Answer. If I want to calculate the profit at four point three, it'll go ahead and calculate that as well. So you know, take a few minutes to understand how to define functions in MATLAB because, like I say, you're going to use them a lot when you're doing normal calculations. I mean, maybe you have something that you're calculating over and over again inside of a program or inside of a do loop or something, and you would want to define that and use it over and over again. This is one way to do that. Uh, and also later on, we do calculus. We'll be taking the derivative and the integral of, of, of functions like this, so we'll need to know how to define them. Now, let me clear the screen and just show you that you can actually, this is less less likely to come up, but you can define functions of more than one variable in MATLAB with, with really the same syntax. So let's say I have something like area, I'm calculating the area of something. 
just to give you like a really, really, really simple example. Area, let's call it uh, area is equal to length uh, times times uh, height, right? Or length times width, right? So in this case, you would say inline, and you would say L times W, right? And in this case, L and W are the independent variables. So you would say L is an independent variable, comma, and then W is an independent variable. And when you use this syntax, what it's telling you is that the function area is a function of length and width. And the value of the function is equal to length times width. That's what that, that's equal to right there. And when you hit the enter key, then it repeats it back to you that the first argument that you put in the parentheses is the length, and the second argument you put in the parentheses is the width, and the function is going to calculate length times width, which is, you know, an area calculation. So if I wanted to calculate the area when the length is 1 and the width is 1, then I, of course I get an, a value of 1, and, you know, I can have 104, and the width can be, you know, 19, and MATLAB will calculate that as well. So you can have these sort of things, you know, I can say JSON is equal to inline. You can have lots of crazy expressions here. You can have sine of x, let's say, uh, plus e to the power of y, where my independent variables are x and y. Right, so this is a two-dimensional function or a function of two variables x and y and it's sine of x plus e to the power of y and I'm setting that function the name of that function is the JSON function so JSON is a function of x and y and here's what the function is equal to so JSON at 3 comma 4 it can calculate the answer so there's really no point in continue to present more and more examples here because really it's it's all generic I mean you can create any function you want in MATLAB and you can define it this way and then you can use it to quickly calculate um, quickly calculate the value of this without typing it in over and over again. You just define the function and go from there. And later on, again, when we do calculus and when we do a more advanced algebra, we'll be using these, these definitions of functions in our calculations, like with integration and differentiation. So definitely remember how to do this when we get to the later sections in the calculus area.